Hello friends, today we will discuss the next topic that is firewall. Now, the firewall is a device installed between the internal network of an organization and the rest of the internet. All previous security measures cannot prevent you from sending a harmful message to a system. So the firewall is designed to forward some packets and filter others. To understand the firewall, let us take the example of a diagram in which we are having a global internet and an internal network separated by a firewall. So let us suppose this one is the global internet and this one is the internal network. So the global internet is the part in which we are having all the people which are not the part of private network and in the internal network we are having the specific people which are private in our own company or the network. Between this global internet and the internal network, we are having a firewall. So this one is the firewall. And the firewall is connected with the both global internet as well as the internal network. A firewall may filter all incoming packets designated for a specific host or a specific server such as HTTP. A firewall can be used to deny access to a specific host or a specific servers in the organization. Now in the firewall from the side to the internal network, we are having the incoming packets. At the back side of the firewall to the global internet, we are having the outgoing packets. So firewall may act as a filter and it protects the internal network from the global access or the global internet to the worldwide people. The internal network may be any LAN, may be company, may be any organization which we want to protect from the outside world. A firewall is usually classified as a packet filtering firewall or the proxy firewall. So we are having the two types of the firewall. The first type of firewall is packet filter firewall. And the second type of firewall is proxy firewall. So we are having the two types of firewall. The first of all we will discuss the packet filter firewall. A packet filter firewall, it is a router that uses a filtering table to decide which packets must be discarded or which packet must be forwarded. Packet filtering firewall. It is a router that uses a filtering table to decide which packets must be discarded or not forwarded. So the firewall can be used as a packet filter. It can forward or block packets based on the information in the network layer or the transport layer headers. Source and destination IP addresses, source and destination port addresses, and types of protocol may be used to forward or not forward, maybe to forward or discard the packets with the help of this packet filtering firewall. So to understand the packet filtering firewall, let us take the example in which we are having global internet and the internet network which are separated by a packet filter firewall. Suppose this one is the internal network and this one is the global internet. Between the global internet and the internal network, we are having the packet filter firewall. So this one is the packet filtering firewall. It is connected with the both global internet and the internal network. Now the packet filter firewall will maintain a table which will contain interface, source IP, source port, destination IP and destination port. So the packet filtering firewall contain a table. Now the fields of the table are First one is the interface, then source IP, then source port, then destination IP, then destination port. So we are having the five fields in the table. Let us suppose we are having the first entry as the interface is 1, source IP is maybe 131.34.0.0 and the rest of the entries we are having star. Now the star signifies that we can put any of the entry. The asterisk or the star signify any. So the first field signifies that the incoming packet from network 131.34.0.0 are blocked for the security purpose because we have assigned this particular IP in the table in the source IP. So these IPs are blocked. So let us suppose we are having one more entry in which, in which we are having the interface is 1 and the source IP may be star, that means any IP we are using. Again, any port, any destination IP, but the destination port is 23. Port 23 is used for the telnet server. So the second line signifies that the incoming packets destinated 
to any internal telnet server that is of port 23 are blocked. Suppose we are having the next entry that means we are having the interfaces 1, then source IP star, maybe any of the IP, source port star, that means any port, and destination IP is 194.78.20.8 and destination port is star. So now we are having only destination IP. So this third line for the third entry indicates that the incoming packets designated for internal host that is 194.78.20.8 are blocked. Suppose next we are having the entry in which we are having any interface maybe 2. We are having the source port star that means we can use any of the port. And we are having the source port 80. The source port 80 is used for HTTP as the source port 23 is used for telnet. Next we are having the destination IP which is star. That means we can use any of the IP. And the destination port is star. We can use any destination port. So the last entry, the fourth entry signifies that the outgoing packets destinated for an HTTP server because of the port 80 are blocked. So that is all about the packet filter firewall which maintains a table. So next we are having the proxy firewall. The packet filter firewall is based on the information available in the network layer and the transport layer header. Sometimes we need to filter a message based on the information available and the message itself. For example, assume that an organization wants to implement the following policies regarding its web pages. First condition is only those internet users who have previously established business relations with the company can have access. Second, the access to other users must be blocked. In this case, a packet filter firewall is not visible because it cannot distinguish between different packets arriving of TCP at port 80. Testing can be done at the application level with the help of URLs. Now, the only one solution of all the problems is to install a proxy computer which stands between the customer computer and the corporation computer. So to understand all these, let us take the example in which we are having global internet which is connected to the proxy firewall. So this is the global internet. Then we are having the proxy firewall. Or the global internet and the proxy firewall are connected with each other. Now the proxy firewall is connected with the LAN, which is connected with the further HTTP proxy as well as the HTTP server. This one is the HTTP proxy. So again, we are having the HTTP server. So here we are having the two things that is the proxy server and the main server. What is the difference between that? The difference between the proxy server and the main server is that the proxy will act like a main server, but that is not the real server in original. For so example, the main server is absent. In that case, the system which will work in the replacement of the server is called the proxy server but in the actual the proxy is not the real one it is only acting like the real one so when the user client processes sends a message the proxy firewall will run a server process to receive the request so the http request is sent from the global internet to the proxy server now the all http packets are forwarded from the proxy firewall to http proxy the server opens the packet at the application level and find out if the request is legitimate. If it is, the server acts as a client process and sends the message to the real server in the corporation. So if the packets are accepted, they are sent to the HTTP server by HTTP proxy. If the packets are not accepted, the message is dropped and an error message is sent to the external user. So that means if the packets are not accepted, an error message is sent back to the proxy firewall by HTTP proxy. In this way, the requests of the external users are filtered based on the contents at application layer. So the proxy firewall filters at the application layer. So today we have discussed the firewall and so there are basic two types, the packet filter firewall and the proxy firewall. So that is all about. Thank you.